Hello, God bless you. How are you doing today? I am Apostle Cedric and I'm so excited to share a very important word which may encourage you in Jesus' name. God knows you. No other person does. Satan knows your name and calls you by your sin. But God knows your sin and calls you by your name. There is a you in the spirit that God knows and that is the version he anchors on. That is the version that he believes in and he holds he hold on to. What makes God to keep running after us even though we run from him is because he has seen a side of us that we do not even know. Your parents got to meet you the day they delivered you into this world. But God was with you before your mother met your father. God speaking to Jeremiah says, before I formed you in the belly. Don't forget, before I formed you in the belly. Which means that your existence is not by human participation. Your existence is by divine formation. Glory to God. Which means God has the perfect version of you that even your parents don't know. Your parents don't know you. They know their son. They don't know God's creation. Your friends don't know you. Your environment doesn't know you. Don't define your life by people's definitions of you. But you must go back to the script. Who was I before I came to this world? You existed in the realm of the spirit. And then God took the spiritual you and put in the physical you bound by time. So originally you were in a dimension that men cannot reach. God says, Jeremiah, before I formed you in the belly of a mother, I knew you and I ordained you a prophet. So in the spirit, Jeremiah is an ordained prophet. But in the physical, he's a young boy who is scared of the call of God. Listen to me. Never be afraid to dare anything in life. Do you know why? Because God who gave you the assignment is speaking to the version of you you don't know about. So the version of you you know is not as powerful as the version of you you don't know. So trust in God because he knows about you more than you know about you. He knows about you more than the economy knows about you. He knows about you more than the government, more than your family, more than your friends know about you. There is a God in heaven. He has the full data of your destiny. He has the full details of your life. So when God says go out there, he's speaking to the you he knows he's talking to the the, the 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 perfect version of yourself never limit yourself by what men say about you for who shall say a thing and it comes to pass when god has not spoken this word is to encourage somebody here that all that men have said about you doesn't really hold weight as what god is saying about you because men define you by your mistakes, but God defines you by your anointing and by your predestination. Men define you by who they have known you to be, but God defines you by your assignment. Stay on what God says you are, and that is how you're going to become all that God says you are going to become. I pray for you that you will not lose sight of God's intention for your life, and that you will discover why you are here, and you will manifest in a very good way. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.